uh, so first of all, the, 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 the final few uh, slides with all those advice, those were just wonderful. Those were uh, the guiding principles that uh, I, we, we, were, we, we have recorded this and we're gonna put it on the website. And I would like my residents to just listen to that last 10 minutes that you talked about. Those are beautiful and very important principles. Thank you very much. Yeah. These are surgical pearls, not only pertinent to insular glioma surgery, surgical pearls for everything, okay? Aneurysm, acoustic neuroma, meningioma, glioma, whatever you are doing. Respect the arachnoid. First, be maximally safe, okay? Don't go with, I want to do minimally invasive. No, especially when you start. If you are Professor Enam, you can do whatever you want to do because you reach the level, right? You can change. You also change. You don't stay steady, right? You keep changing our dissection. I was telling you, I opened the dura now like that. Maybe I, I will open split like in the future. I don't know, but you keep changing. Be first maximally safe, okay? Don't try to do fancy things. Apply the basic principles of microneurosurgery, okay? And you have to have many, many plans. Main plan, B plan, C plan, always backup plans. And you have to prepare yourself mentally for these cases. You go read about these things, how they did in the past. You need to know the history of the surgery you are doing next morning, okay? And you need to know the current state of that surgery and how it is done in your institution. You need to know your institutional biases, okay? And then you learn these, you graduate, you start practicing and don't stay in one school. Go see other schools, okay? Learn other schools, make your own synthesis and then come up with your own technique, okay? Always, always never lose control in the operating room. You may look like you're losing or sometimes pretend like you're losing. Sometimes you have to yell. Hey, hey, stop guys, stop talking, let's focus here. You are directing pe people attention to do that surgery from the listening, the music, or talking about the food uh, last night they had, okay? So remain calm or at least act like you are calm, okay? And don't repeat the same, same thing. If you are getting complications, do your own introspection, okay? Hey, I did a 10 insular glioma surgeries, eight of them had a ventricular straight injury. Then that means you are doing something wrong, right? So when you, yes, be creative, uh, when you encounter the unpredictable obstacles and also be aware of how masters, your, your professors did that, okay? If you can record your own videos, or record your professor videos and record the parts you did, you participate and see the difference. How he's doing, she's doing, how you are doing. And never give up in any problem, okay? Never give up, be determined. Don't be minimalist, hey, uh, this cannot be done, okay? Just exhaust all the options, then you can say, hey, I, I okay, I, it cannot be done. And for, Particularly for insular glioma, skeletonize all the vessels, move them away, don't take them. And I told you about this, be aware of the literature, be aware of the, of the people who spend their lives to invest their lives to contribute to this field. And go to the lab, okay? The lab, 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 anatomy, anatomy, anatomy. Anatomy dictates. Do you guys know this? Professor Yashar Gills? A dissection, this is from 1953, I think 57 or 53. Yeah, Professor Tre gave me this. You know, he said that you have to spend one year in the lab, at least. In my opinion, you should spend lab every day. Every day, you, you get your own microscope, spend bypass, practice bypass, practice these techniques, practice everything, okay? If you become versatile, then you are doing a good, good surgeries. And then you can help your patient. That's the whole idea, helping your patient. And this is our lab, uh, current lab. We moved to this 2018. We, we had the smaller labs in the past. Since I came here in 2006, 
uh, this is a eight station lab. We can easily do 10, 12 stations. We used to have the, our own workshops here, but unfortunately due to the COVID, we couldn't do it. But uh, this May, I mean, we did the uh, our skull-based demonstration, live the dissection. I'm sure some of you guys join and go read, listen, watch, dissect. Then if you do this in the lab, you, when you see the real surgeries, perfect, right? You can do much better. I hear, I forget, I see, I remember, I do, I understand. That's what computer said, okay? Sorry, I took a lot of time and I apologize. Uh, so I'm happy to take any questions right now.